What's up everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Now this video was a viewer's suggestion. This was by Rol Macapagal. I really hope I'm getting that right. Uh, this was basically, what if players from the original trilogy had fighting spirits? So the way he put it was he wanted Kenshin armored. Um, but I'm just going to do for their general fighting spirits and then you guys can kind of come up with the armor fight in your head. So the way this is going to work is I have paint here. I am not very good at drawing, but I'm going to attempt to draw my visualization for Axel, Jude, Xavier, and Sean's fighting spirits. Now, obviously, we kind of know what Marx is. It's Margin the Great, and I don't want to kind of stomp all over that because I'd probably go for something quite similar. But we're going to go for Axel, Jude, Xavier, and Sean. Now, obviously, the big thing with today's video is that interactivity with you guys. So I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments um, what, like, your ideas would be for these fighting spirits. And then also, if you want to draw any, like, art of any of this, draw art of my interpretations, draw art of your interpretations, then you can let me know on Twitter by adding me or in the Discord just by adding me there either. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so first up is Axel. Axel obviously kind of has Sertha, but that's Cronus's, so we're going to go with that being Cronus's, and we're going to come with a new one for Axel. And the first thing that came to mind to me, uh, let's, let's just imagine that, like, Axel's, Axel's here with his with his little, little stick man, and there, there's his hair, looking sick as hell. All right, so we need a big fire dragon, is my idea. Now, I kind of have two interpretations of this. Either the first one would be like this kind of deal of just a straight up, like, big boy fire dragon. Yes, with a really weird eye for some reason. Like a straight up just fire dragon coming out of his back. Kind of like a big serpent thing. Or there's the, let's, let's see. Okay, I mean, that wasn't exactly what I intended. But if we then take this away and we take a, a better look at maybe a different version, which would kind of be the more Final Fantasy approach, which is a more humanoid dragon. Again, like I said, art is not my forte. I'm more just wanting to give you guys a brief visualization. Ooh, look at this fella. Ooh, look at those chompers. Hell yes, and you can even give him like horns. Yes, big eyes. Oh, and then you've got this fella, like you need probably bigger wings. But this is kind of my idea. It's just a big, massive dragon. What would his name be? What's like a big dragon name? Ferno from Beast Quest. So I imagine it'd be like the just the fire dragon, Ferno. It's literally just the guy from Beast Quest. All right, next up, we have Jude. Now, Jude is obviously a bit of a tactician. I'm just trying to draw Jude and failing absolutely dramatically here. Now, Jude is a bit of a tactician. So, my idea was to give him a, a tactician as his fighting spirit. But it, a lot of the tacticians are a bit boring, so I had a kind of different approach to it. What if we give them something a bit more vague, a bit more broad? Just something we could call the Great General. And it is like those big statues. Like, you know those big historic statues you see? Like, imagine something kind of this color of stone. Not with a potato head. With an actual head. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like those old historic statues. It could even be kind of like the thinker in the way it's doing this. Maybe not. I was going to draw it scratching its back. Maybe not. Maybe it's like holding a book or something. Yeah, it's like holding the Tome of All Knowledge. That's kind of based. Yes, look at this fella. Look at him. And it's like this big stone statue that's like coming up with all the ideas. And maybe it's his Atsu. Oh yeah, well, I was going to come up with Fire Spirit. It's Atsu's Axel, by the way, is just the fire breathing fire. The fire dragon breathing fire, obviously. Maybe the great tactician, I can see it being a bit of a dribble, where he like reads from his book to fully understand the, the, the opponent's entire arsenal. And then Jude plots a course. He like they like touch fingers or something, and, and, and like boos Jude, like Jude's hand with tactical ability, and he just goes like this, and it paints a perfect path for him to follow, or something like that. Some kind of it, the whole idea is it's just this really old statue of this great general tactician, and its name is the great general, and then it's general but in like French or something. <laughs> Let's talk Xavier. I have a really cool idea for Xavier. Xavier is obviously all about space. What says space more than a big, massive astronaut? Hear me out. 
Okay, so it's literally, I say hear me out, there's not a whole lot to hear out here. It is exactly what you get on the tin. It is just, that's meant to be his hand, by the way. It is just a massive astronaut. He's got all the space gear. This is like his space jetpack or whatever they have. Oh, I mean, look at this. I mean, come on. You can even have like space. Ooh, ooh actually, I, kind of, I think that's kind of based. I think that is kind of based. If we draw like stars here. And then I think space to me has always been purple. Like kind of have like space in his like helmet or whatever. Yeah, I'm just a massive big astronaut fella. We could call it the Great Explorer. And then it's astronaut in Greek or something cool. And maybe his move is he pulls off his helmet and space pours out of his body all across the world. As Xavier then jumps up and does like this humongous massive space kick. Like imagine, like this huge massive space kick and fires it off like a shooting star. And we'll call that something like space body or something cooler than that. You, you guys can come up with that. I'm not a genius. I mean, I am, but besides the point. And my final suggestion for a brilliant fighting spirit is Sean's. Now, Sean is obviously all about that ice, and so we've got to give him something icy. And to me, nothing is more... I don't know why. I, I, that looks weird. That looks really weird. Uh, I'm going to give him something a bit icy, and that icy thing will be Jack Frost himself. So to me, Jack Frost, as seen in Rise of the Guardians banger film how do we draw a good head for jack frost he's got to look cool kind of like that icy idea he'd, he'd have like a mass oh he's gonna have a massive snow cape hell yes like give him that huge snow cape i love it we need to draw obviously arms and a body connecting there give him this massive snow cape which is like ice coming down, maybe icicles like kind of growing off of it. Oh, I like it. And obviously he has hands, preferably with more fingers than that. Um, with like, maybe even, maybe even like he's chucking a snowball in the air. There's like a snowball being chucked up and down like a bloody, like a juggling ball. Cool. And then maybe the, for Sean's shot, Sean runs forward. Imagine he's, he's running. Jack Frost gets a snowball and chucks it at full speed as Sean, like, jumps up and kicks the ball and the snowball at the same time, firing off a massive ice laser. But it also looks a lot cooler than that because that sounds really simple for a fighting spirit shot. But that kind of idea, and the fighting spirit will literally just be called um, the Icy Trickster Jack Frost or something along those lines. Something cool, something cool. But those are my pictures. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more of this. If you would like, you know, what your ideas are. If you have any more suggestions for videos like this. Or just any videos in general. And I'll take a look. And maybe we'll do them in the future. Without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.